Hello everyone, my name is Hannah. Welcome to a new video and welcome to my very first 24 in 48 hour readathon. So if you don't know, a 24 in 48 hour readathon is where you give yourself 48 hours of time and in that 48 hours you have to read for 24. So normally I just pick a 24 hour period and read as much as I can while still like sleeping and living my life. But I thought that this would be a really fun way to try to read for 24 hours, but not like mess up my sleep schedule because I just, I can't do that. I'm just not built like that. So there are a bunch of us um, Questathon hosts that are doing this this weekend. So it is now Friday and I'm going to be starting at 7.30 my time this Friday. So I'm going to be on sprints on Kara's channel from Kara's Bookshelf. I'll link her channel down below and I'll link the sprints down below if you want to go back and watch them back. It's going to be me, her, and a bunch of other people. It's on her channel she's hosting, but I'm not sure who else is going to be joining us, but I for sure am. It's my first sprint of Questathon. I haven't been able to do it just because I've been very busy with, you know, vacationing. <laughs> But yeah, I'm really excited to do this. I will be using the timer method. So I'll use the timer on my phone and that way I can keep track of how many hours that I have actually spent reading. So anytime that I'm doing something else like sleeping or maybe when we're talking on the sprints, I won't count that time as my reading time. So that way I can actually read for 24 hours. So yeah, I'm really excited to do this and I have a stack of books here that I want to try to get to, but I'm not going to be using every single book for the readathon just because I'm just like a cruising through it. I already have all four weapons and I've completed the first part of the journey, which was gathering to make a plan. So I've, I'm, I'm ahead of schedule. I've got this. I will be using one of the books to try to complete the strategy board. So I will also leave a link up in the cards, hopefully I remember, but I'll also leave it down below um, to my previous Questathon vlog where I read all of those books that I gained my weapons and did the first part of my journey. If you want to watch that first, you can go back and watch that. But I am going to be doing the strategy board for this 24 hour readathon. So it says now we've been caught by trolls. You've started your journey but have been caught and captured by the evil trolls of the dark forest. They are ruthless and ready to cook you and your friends for dinner. In order to find a way to escape, you must communicate with your team and attack these trolls in unison. In order to successfully do this, you will need to complete two prompts on the strategy board. So there are a bunch of different prompts on the strategy board that I could fulfill. The book I will be using is Twin Crowns by Catherine Doyle and Catherine Weber. So one, the reason why I'm choosing this one is because one of the prompts on the strategy board is more than one author. And I think this one and maybe one other book I have are written by two, more than one author. So I'm going to use this one because I do really want to get to it. And I do have the audiobook, which is really nice for a 24 hour readathon. And then the other prompt that I'm going to use is join reading sprints since I will be joining reading sprints with Kara tonight and I will be hosting my own sprints on Sunday, which I'm really excited for. But yeah, I'm going to be using this. So this will be my main priority. It is pretty chunky, but I definitely think I can finish this in the 24 hours. I've been doing really well with reading books in a day, so I definitely think I can do this. But a few of the other books that I do want to try to get to is I would like to read volume 10 of Giant Days. This is an old Ex library copy that I have and I really want to replace it because I don't like it. It's not the same size. It's got like, I don't know, all the stuff on it. Anyways, that's not the point. But this is my favorite graphic novel series. I love it so much. It's definitely a comfort read and I really do like to pick up graphic novels for a 24 hour readathon, especially like when I wake up in the morning. It's a nice like way to start because it's not like constant words because I get to look at pictures too. And this is just such a wholesome, fun graphic novel series. And I just love these characters so much. This is a reread for me, but I just love it. I would also like to try to get to Assembly by Natasha Brown. I picked this up when I was in London because the cashier at Waterstones just immediately convinced me to pick it up. He just like held it up and was like, hey, have you seen this? And I was like, yeah, no, go for it. Add it to my, <laughs> add it to my bag. But I think it is just about the black British woman's experience and it's very short. It's only like a hundred pages. So I think this will be a really quick one to get to and it's like not a lot of words on the page. And I do really want to get to this. So I'll be hoping to get to this one in this 24 hours. I also have the ebook for Along the Saltwise Sea. Is that what it's called? I think so. 
It is the second book in the Over the Woodward Wall series by A. Deborah Baker, which is a pen name for Shauna McGuire. It's like the kind of, it's a linked to the middle game series. It's like supposedly a fairy tale that's told in that world. And I did read Over the Woodward Wall. I did like that one. I think I gave it, I don't know, three or four stars. But I figured since I could get the ebook for this, I might as well pick it up. It's less than 200 pages, which is perfect for this short time period. And then the other book I would really like to try to get to, which I don't know if I'll be able to, but it's a hopeful, is Falls Boys by Penelope Douglas because I love Penelope Douglas and I have been really looking forward to getting to this one and I'm kind of getting in the mood for contemporary romances over fantasy romances right now. Like I just want to pick this one up. It is a good boy bad girl trope which you don't see very often so I'm very excited to pick that up and I just really like Penelope Douglas's writing so this is her newest release and I really want to try to get to it. So yeah, those are all of the books that I want to try to get to in this 24 hour period this weekend. But like I said, Twin Crowns is going to be my priority because it is the only one that I'm going to use towards Questathon. My next check-in will probably be right before I go on these sprints on Kara's channel because that's when I'll be starting my readathon. At least I'll be starting it whenever we start reading. That's when I'll start my timer. So I'll keep you updated on all of that and I will check in later. Okay, we are on sprints. We literally just started. I have my tea, my water, and I have my book. I'm ready to go and I'm ready to start my timer. now 11 30 and my timer says that I've been reading for about two and a half hours. I've been reading Twin Crowns by Catherine Doyle and Catherine Weber. So basically this book is about two twin sisters who at birth were separated, one of them to be raised as a princess and then one of them to be raised in the wilderness as a witch and right before their 18th birthday where the princess is supposed to be crowned queen um, the sister who was raised as a witch, Ren, goes to the castle to kind of swap places in order to save the witches because there's this like kind of mass purge of witches going on in the kingdom and so they kind of swap places. Ren has been trained for this her whole life and Rose, the princess, has no idea that she even has a twin sister and so she gets taken to the witches and she's like learning all of this history and all of this stuff and Ren is trying to pretend to be Rose and kind of be there when she takes the throne so that she can help save the witches. So yeah, I'm really enjoying it so far. I do really like Ren's point of view the most though, just because she's just so much more scrappy, I, I guess is the way I'm gonna put it, because Rose is like the princess who has been sheltered her whole life and she's kind of been fed these lies and so right now she still kind of believes them and she's still fighting on like the wrong side pretty much. So I'm looking forward to when Rose's perspective shifts but yeah right now I really like Ren's perspective and I like just how like snarky and sarcastic she is <laughs> but yeah I'm about halfway through this I'm on page 241 and I'm not sure how much longer I'm going to stay up to read I'm not sure if I mentioned but my timer says that I've been reading for two and a half hours so that's a good start I guess um, we have about 13 minutes left of this sprint and then we'll probably talk for a little bit and then I think I might sign off because I am getting kind of tired but then I'll start fresh tomorrow so I will probably not update anymore tonight I'll just check in in the morning and let you know how much further I made it into Twin Crowns. 
Good morning, everyone. I just finished up my live show discussion with Christina all about Empire of Storms and Tower of Dawn, our part two discussion, which was amazing. Oh, it's so much fun to talk about those books, especially with Christina, who is reading them for the first time and to like hear her thoughts. I just love it. So last night I made it to the end of a chapter during those sprints. I think I've been reading for about two hours and 45 minutes of my total 24 hours. It's about 1120 right now. And I do want to read, but also I'm kind of feeling like I want to go maybe drive over to Barnes & Noble and pick up some books, maybe stop at Starbucks and sit there and read for a bit. I am not sure because I also at the same time don't want to leave my house. <laughs> so I'm going to have to decide what I want to do, but I need to get started reading because I've got a lot of time to fill in that 24 hours and I'm not sure if I can get it all done in the weekend. Like I'm going to try. Like to 24 and 48 I have to I have to try but yeah I'm gonna either go try to finish Twin Crowns right now or I might pick up the Giant Days graphic novel that I had chosen for this 24-hour readathon so that's where we're at okay so I decided to read Giant Days volume 10 this morning and I finished it it's definitely not my favorite in the series this might actually might be my least favorite volume so I gave it three stars but I do still really love the characters but yeah this one is just like I don't know not as entertaining as the others I suppose but I also posted a video and I made a reel um, all about why you should read the Assassin's Blade first in the Throne of Glass series um, I will fight to the death for this one. I will die on this hill. So now I'm just trying to decide if I want to finish reading Twin Crowns or if I want to pick up, I'm thinking along the Saltwise Sea. I can't decide between the two of those. So I did decide that I'm not going to go to Barnes and Noble today. I might do that next weekend. I just wanna get through more of my physical TBR before I buy any new books which I know I will be tempted to do if I go book shopping. So I'm going to wait to do that. But yeah, I'm going to chill at home for a bit. I might decide to go out a little bit later. I don't know. I might go to the park and read or something. Or I might just stay and park it on the couch. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so those are those are the uh, plans right now. So I'm going to go decide if I want to read Twin Crowns and finish Twin Crowns or if I want to start Along the Salt Lies Sea. It is now 7.20 and I am reading Twin Crowns. I finished reading Along the Saltwise Sea, so I should probably talk about that first. I did decide to pick up that one. The audiobook was on Scribd and I had the ebook from my library. So it was like a 200 page book and I thought it would be fun for a 24 hour readathon and it was quick, but I don't know. I, I do like the writing because it's Shauna McGuire's writing, but something about that story, even with Over the Woodward Wall, the first book, something about it just left me like feeling wanting, you know? So I gave this one a three stars. It just kind of picks up where the story left off in the first book. And like, it's still a fun time, but it's just, I don't know. It was just fine. So now I am on sprints on Kara's channel with Rachel. And then I think Cammie's going to join us. And I am trying to finish Twin Crowns. I have about an hour left of the audiobook, And then I'm no, I don't know what I'm going to pick up. Because I want to stay up and get a little bit more reading done. I think I have about eight hours done. So I want to try to get to like 10 or 11 before I go to bed tonight. Because then I've got a lot of ground to cover tomorrow. I just didn't read as much today as I thought that I would. Like this morning I just took it really slow. So yeah, hopefully I can get a lot of good reading done tomorrow. I do want to say that while I am still enjoying this, I'm not enjoying it as much as I want to. Rose's point of view is like not super fun to be in. She is just like really annoying. She is like this high and mighty princess where she's like, you're gonna go to the dungeons if you talk to me like this. I'm like, I'm the princess. And she's just like really entitled and obnoxious. And I was hoping that by this point in the book, we would have had some character development with that. But honestly, we we haven't yet. So I'm just kind of annoyed with her. But Ren, I'm living for Ren. I love Ren's point of view. I love Ren's character. She's the reason that I'm still reading this book, honestly. 
But yeah, I'm trying to finish this. I did go pick up a Starbucks because I'm feeling a little tired already. So I got I grabbed a sandwich and a coffee and I'm ready to get some reading done. All right, I just finished reading Twin Crowns and I think I'm gonna end up giving this like a three, 3.5. I did like it, the ending was really good. But again, like Rose was just like not my fave. I. I just don't really care about her point of view at all. I really, really like Ren. Like I said before, I was just here for every single one of her chapters. So I'm interested enough to pick up the next book whenever it does come out. But yeah, I think like three stars, 3.5, somewhere around there. But with that, I am completing the strategy board. So in order to escape the trolls, I had to pick two prompts from the strategy board. And this one, like I said earlier in the video, is for the more than one author prompt. So it's got two authors, Catherine Doyle and Catherine Weber. And then I'm also using join reading sprints as the other prompt because I'm literally on reading sprints right now. And I was on reading sprints with Kara yesterday. And then I'll have my own sprints tomorrow. So I definitely fulfilled that prompt. So the strategy board is complete. So we are just making our way along this journey. I'm having a great time with Questathon. I'm not quite sure what I want to pick up next after this because I'm, I'm kind of feeling fantasy, but also at the same time kind of not. Good afternoon, everyone. It is Sunday. It's about five minutes before I go live for my reading sprints. I'm kind of nervous. I don't know why. It's not like I haven't done this before, but I'm just like a little bit nervous, I guess. But also, I'm not sure what I want to read. I didn't start anything new yesterday, like after I finished Twin Crowns, and I just can't decide. So I'm gonna let the people of in the sprints decide um, but even then, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what I'm gonna read, but I just wanted to pop in and say that, yeah, I, <laughs> I didn't read anything this morning, um, so that's where we're at, I guess. I actually need some help deciding what I'm going to read. I just have, like, I was showing Rachel, I just have a stack of books that I can't, I just don't know what I'm in the mood to read. Like, all of these, I kind of want to read them, but at the same time, I'm, like, not feeling it, so I'm, like, do I want to read them? Do I not? I don't know. Got to vote for Neon Gods. So Tammy and Sahar, if you're just coming in, I I don't know what I want to read. So I had four options. <laughs> I want you guys to choose. I have Falls Boys, the new Penelope Douglas. I have Famine, which is the third Four Horsemen book. I have Neon Gods. And then I have The War of Two Queens. <laughs> I say oh. Neon Gods as well. Okay. Two for that. I'd say Neon Gods. It's really good. I think you'll like it. But I also can't wait to hear your thoughts on Falls Boys because I really want to read that. Yeah, I I started it last night and I fell asleep. Like I got to the third page. So, <laughs> <laughs> but I do I do really like Penelope Douglas. So I think that would be a good one too. Mm -hmm. They all seem like good picks. You can't go wrong. Yeah. All right, hello everyone. It is now after the 24 hour and 48 hour readathon, um, which I, I don't wanna say I failed because I like, I read, but I definitely did not get to 24 hours. I think by the end of it, I was at around 14 hours. So I still had 10 hours left of reading, which I mean, I probably could have done, but I would have had to do nothing but read for those two days. And I guess I just kept thinking to myself like, oh, I have plenty of time. Like this isn't like a regular 24 hour readathon. I can take my time, I can do other things. And that is just not the case. Um, and I also kept forgetting to stop and start my timer. So I don't know if I would actually do this again in the future. Like. I maybe would do like a 48 hour readathon and just not do the timer method and just like read for that time because yeah the timer method is just honestly really difficult like it's hard to read 24 hours like just reading but I did end up picking up Neon Gods last night um, I picked it up during the sprints I had a bunch of options as I'm sure I showed a clip of but I had a bunch of options and this one got the most votes so this is what I started with on the reading sprints 
and I did end up getting about halfway so maybe even a little over halfway I got to page 202 and just completely lost the will to continue this like I just don't think this was for me. I wasn't like super enjoying the first 200 pages anyways, but there was no tension. It's just they met and immediately got together. Like there was no build up to it. It was just like, boom. <laughs> they meet each other and then it was just straight to wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. Like it was just so fast and there was just no build up. And I just like, there's no fun in that to me. Like it just is boring and like, I don't know. I just didn't care about anything and I was like, what? I, what? <laughs> what am I doing here? So I decided to DNF this one halfway through, which yeah, that was disappointing. But then I decided to start Famine by Laura Thalassa and I did get to page 174 on that. I just was listening to the audiobook last night. I definitely think that I passed the like 48 hour mark for this, but whatever. I did start this and like it's good so far. <laughs> I just feel like I've had a string of like fairly mediocre books lately and it's just not doing it for me like I really don't want that to put me into a reading slump but anyways I did manage to read three other like full books so I did read the entirety of Twin Crowns this was what I used for my questathon what board was it strategy board I think this was probably the best one of the readathon so there's that one. Then I did read volume 10 of Giant Days and oh, I just I love this series so much but this volume was just like average you know it was not their best. This, I think volume 10 is my least favorite volume in the whole series so it didn't give me what I wanted it to so I might just be picking up volume 11 sooner rather than later because I do absolutely love this series. If you haven't heard me talk about it before, it's one of my favorite, if not my favorite graphic novel series. And the series as a whole gets a five out of five for me. I, like each individual volume gets anywhere between like a three and a five star, um, depending on the volume. But just the way that this graphic novel series makes me feel, it's gotta be a five out of five series. So. I, like I said, this is not my favorite, but I will probably be picking up volume 11 sooner rather than later. And then I did also read Along the Salt Y Sea by A. Deborah Baker, which is, like I said before, a Shauna McGuire pen name. And again, it was just like fine. It's almost like trying to be very similar to the Wayward Children series, but just different. And to me, I just like the Wayward Children series better. I do still like this. I probably will still pick up the next book when it comes out or whenever I like am able to get my hands on it. I'm just in no rush to finish this, but it was just fine. <laughs> so yeah, that is the end of this 24 failure in 48 hour readathon. I might just end up calling it like a 48 hour readathon or a weekend reading vlog or something. I don't know. There were several of my friends that were doing this with me, so if they have vlogs whenever those come out, I will try to make sure to leave them linked down below, but I will leave all of my friends' channels linked down below, so please make sure you go over and subscribe to them, show their channels some love like they deserve. I will also leave all of my socials and stuff linked down below, my Instagram and my Goodreads. So all of that will be linked down below if you want to get some extra bookish content from me, but thank you so, so much for watching this video. If you made it to the end, leave the timer emoji or the clock emoji if there's an hourglass emoji I don't know something like that some kind of time related emoji down in the comments down below and thank you again so much for watching I will see you in my next video bye